So we start with this man, man and Nelly fight. And to be truthfully honest, it doesn't, the fight between you and man, man versus man, man in October was completely different. What I mean by that is like no shade October, but like man, man like wore you. I wouldn't say he necessarily wore you. He just, he just, he got, got the me. best got of me. you. I was tired. It was like, was tired. nigga was out since eight in the morning. Like, it was fights since eight in the morning. Like, so I was drained. <laughs> Me and Men in October fight was different from ours is because, I don't even know, to be honest. Y'all's was different because he, it, like he wore October. October walked away from that fight leaking. I, well, I mean, that's You didn't. Obvious. In the words of Ruby, no bars. Mwah, no marks. Nelly was trying to square up with this dude and man man straight bulldozed. He was on Hulk smash timing. So <laughs> that's what it gave. Baby Claire. She being nice. Hold on. She being nice? She being nice. Who me? Yeah, I up. It's only because ever since we left the show, he's been somebody that I've been calling me and speaking to me. It would be funny for me to sit here and try to cap now and be like, like try to be funny and read it. Oh my God, we could have No, 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 no. So We're not going to watch that. We're going to watch the one with you and Ma. The host insisted that he instigated the fight. He, 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 I feel he said it in the confessional, but outside oh, of the okay. street. Okay. He said okay. he had nothing to do with that. Mm. So am I wrong? Because mm. I feel like that's what I watched. Like I said, at the end of the day, like, I know that he had a job to do, mm -hmm. and that's fine. But I said multiple times, like, Ma, like, you're you're juicing it up. Like, you know, admit to it. Like, you're juicing it up. I get it. Like, you know, but you're sitting there making it seem like you didn't juice the shit up. I never told you that I needed anything from me, man. I never told you that. Back at the hotel, things is getting intense. Nelly confronts the host about his involvement in this fight. Like at the, you was trying to make a point or you was trying to explain your point of how you felt that Ma was involved mm -hmm. and you weren't being heard. And I think it was a mix of that plus Ma's like nonchalant personality mm -hmm. and I don't give a fuck this, that made you swing on him. Yeah. At the end of the day, he has a job to do. He's a host, you know what I mean? When things are not being at his caliber, you supposed to, you know, juice it up and you know, you know, throw things at, throw curveballs, you know what I mean? Like you're a host. You're Understandable. To My only going. thing is though, lie. Well, because that's different. Well, Lying, if I heard you say something or I seen something, then yeah, bring it like, oh, just by the way. But you're mm -hmm. saying you never said well, that, so that would mean he lied. So that, that's the question you gotta ask him. We gonna watch the fight. You don't give a fuck, and I don't give a fuck neither. <laughs> ass for because of you. <laughs> no, you're not cash. It's not giving that, but okay. And I connected that hit. Just so y'all know, I connected that. I'm just saying. And as you can see, like, if I wanted to keep going, if I wanted to keep going on Sean, like, no, I could have did Shorty dirty, like, but I was just holding Shorty, like, cause I was confused. Like after I could have sworn I swung them all, but the person that I'm in up on the floor with is a whole different person. Yikes. And bitch, you? <laughs> You really lucky, like, you lucky my bitch got you. Not sure why Sean got involved, but in his confessionals, he stated it was because Nelly should not be fighting the host. Bullshit. This is the same host that already swung on Zabo <laughs> and fought Q uh -huh. and intimately involved with another cast member. Uh -huh. I think at that point, that Sean, shouldn't you be was the being a fucking clout chaser. Yeah. Bitch lips are so fucking big and she got a fucking alien head. Like, don't even be a I live for Sean's lips, I though. I don't a fucking <laughs> suck of lips. That's what those are. Suck of lips. She must be. <laughs> but at the end of the day, the bitch can dress. I'm flabbergasted because, like, when I look back at it, like, Ma didn't need no help. So, what the fuck did you feel the need to jump in for? No shade, you didn't do much. Cool. 
Yeah, it was a one-on-one. -on -one. It was a one-on-one. -on -one. What did you jump in for? Now you're really gonna get parked. Like, you're gonna get beat the fuck up and I'm gonna really beat you up. Like, I'm... Is she ugly? Can we talk about that? Stop. Do you think Sean is cute? First episode, I said I live for Sean. That's the first episode. Do you think he's cute? I love, I think he looks like a model, actually. Do you think he's cute? Yes, yeah, I, I think he's handsome. You I just said he looks like a model. A model is not cute. Uh, is he cute, yes or no? Yes. You lying. I'm not lying. I think I so <laughs> and it's not like a because y'all can rewind to my first episode. I literally I'm not got say, into I'm not say she lying, Sean's looks. I live for his cheekbones. Okay. She I know live how to for dress. his look. She could dress down. Yeah. She know how to dress, but she's ugly. Nelly, it's no shade. She's ugly. She's not. You saying type. that because she jumped? No, she's not my type. But I'm sorry. And I respect type, it. But, but not, nah. Sean is not ugly. Sucker lips, like that's it. But she's ugly. You live ugly. She might can suck a but she's ugly. Live. Mom wanted Nelly to run that back. Run that back. And they had to run that back. How do you feel about that that second fight? I don't really feel like either one of us did anything. Like, I just feel like it was a drunk fight. I feel like niggas was just swinging. Um, yeah. I can agree I with feel. that. I feel like it wasn't really a fight. I don't think anyone had anything I don't feel like nobody over got each other. One, I don't feel like nobody got one up. I feel like we both was just swinging, missing, looking dumb. Slipping the slider on the floor, but um, like you know, like I said, like if anybody need that again, like we can definitely run that back. Like it's oh. never a oh, issue. Your fears is gonna big you up. People that like me is gonna big me up. But in all honesty, we both looked at a fool. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna just run down the fights that happened mm -hmm. after you and Moss. We got Kai and Sean. In the name of New York and Sean jumping in on your fight. Kai then handled fought that. Sean. My bitch handled that. She ain't fight. She handled that. So with that fight, I feel like it also it was very equal. But mm -hmm. Sean was the one walking away leaking. So. Okay then. Okay. And I think Kai made a very good point. Kai was like, I'm wearing braces. Like, I should be bleeding. Like anybody that that always got braces and, and my, my shorty had braces. Like it happens. So yes, my bitch, she caught a nose and she caught a lick. What's next? Stop playing with my bitch. The fight after that was D. Scott and Daryl. How do you feel about that? Because baby, Ooh. everybody agrees that was kind of kind of a key. Lie, like, People was not expecting that. When I seen that, I ain't gonna lie. Like they both was getting in the paint. Like, they was in that. They was in the paint. Furniture. Like, they was in the paint now. I, I cannot say who who really, really won, but they was doing their thing. So I'm just leaving it at that. Like Kai and Sean and you and Maul's second round, it was just too equal, but mm -hmm. I always go with how the person is at the end. Daryl right. was out of breath. Daryl was marked up. Daryl's shirt was torn. So it was a whole lot like going Scott on. Won. Yeah, if, if, if I have to pick one, I would say it was D. Scott because D. Scott was, so full of energy, like he was still ready to go. Daryl was in the bathroom like, yeah, I'm good. Scott. But I wouldn't say D. Scott beat up Daryl, right no. Right. I really didn't really get to get into that, but they was really throwing them blows. Now Scott, like, you know, he's a firecracker, but he's just messy. Like when you go into a house with somebody and say like, oh, you know, I got you, I got you. And then you turn around and like I have a fight with somebody and you start just showing signs of being on a team with the next bitch. It's just like. What are you talking about? You're talking about with Maul. No, so I'm talking Because I was about to say him and Maul are. No, solid. So, so basically, oh. so you know, we was like in a cab, like, you know, I got you. Like, you know, we gonna make sure you good and all that. Like, I could have did more when, you know, a lot of people was jumping on Scott in the first episode. Like, I, I do feel like I could have like, you know, yeah, those are four missed opportunities. So if he's not fighting for you, then you can't exactly. be mad. Exactly, you know what I mean? So, you know, like, I'm not mad. We came into the situation where we said, like, we are gonna make sure each other is okay. And I feel like it was a point of time where certain situations happened that he was just going against me. And uh -huh. it was just like, you know, we, we was supposed to be like, cool. Scott is like, you know, he's real when he want to be real, but I feel like he just switched it up sometimes. I've said this in a lot of my reviews. <laughs> D. Scott is probably the only cast member that intimidates me. I don't know why. <laughs> it's something about D. Scott that I'm like it's he's so a, intimidated he's a by him. He applies the pressure. Like if we had like a contender for like a cash prize, he would be one of them. 
like he would be one of the main ones. He was not like backing down. He was certain his dominance. Like yes. he was saying what the fuck he Heavy was saying. On the like you know what I mean. So like Scott came and did what he had to do, filming with him. Like it was just giving like a little funny vibe. We don't get to see the whole thing, but we do get a, a piece of it. Ruby and Ali fight. Now this particular fight is because Ruby told, he informed Landon, yo, Ali don't like you. So now Ali wanted that and they fought. Mm -hmm. The rest will be shown next episode. Next episode. So a lot of the things that y'all don't really see, it was really giving House A versus House B like a little okay, bit. Okay, baddies. Time. No, no, for real. <laughs> we had two separate suites. So a lot of the fights that happened with the twins, Ali, Daro, and them girls, a lot of people didn't really get to see. So I didn't really get to see what unfolded with Ali and um, Ruby. Ruby just talks a lot of shit. Like he talks a lot. And Here's the thing though. Mm -hmm. This would be the fifth fight Ruby got into. The first four, he ain't so, lost. He ain't lost a fight yet. I mean, no shame. He ain't lost a fight well, yet. Between me and him, it wasn't really a fight. But Ooh. yeah, he ran up on Trez and Trez wasn't even, even trying to fight him. Yeah. He was ducking solid. He didn't want to fight the real nigga who really wanted to fight. But they did fight. You know that, yeah, right? Yeah, they did fight. And at the end of the day, you fought him at the last minute when he probably ran down on you. Mm. That's not a fight. When the fight is that, I want to fight you, you want to fight me, step up right now. Mm. Let's fight. Every time Solid was doing that, ah, I have so many fights already, I want to go home. <laughs> like, bro, you're a pussy. I'm not going to pop shit, and then as soon as I see the niggas that I see, oh, I didn't know it was 30 people on the cast. I'm sorry, you could never make me hate Ruby. Just like no one can never make I, me hate you, because, I mean, nah, I, you re you repping for our city. Hey, bro. Oh, BX. To all the Playboys, y'all seen season one. So I don't want nobody walking into seasons talking about, well, I didn't know it was going to be all of this. Exactly. You, you know should've. what it was going to be. Well, I want to thank Mr. Nelly for joining me for a first collab review. This was an interesting one. It was so many fights this episode that so that's what we ran down. But it's time to say goodbye, but I would love for you to come back one of these times so we can review another one, possibly. I don't know. Is there any last thing you want to say to your supporters and haters? For everybody who's supporting me, like, you know, I thank y'all and I love y'all and I'm working on some things that I'm trying to um, get back to my supporters. Thank you for who's supporting me for now, who's hating me. I'm just really going to adjust this bitch because I'm so sorry. Like, solid. Like, stop oh my God. Me every <laughs> day. Like, the episode is coming out. Stop addressing me. Like, you talk about me every day, bro. Every day. Get off of my flag. But I just want to thank you for um, <laughs> having me here. Thanks and, for coming, um, Ellie. You know, you know, more things is coming. More things is coming. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye. Oh, my God. That was so fun. Yeah. It's first. <laughs> you know, because, like, you know, Oh, he's gonna be mad, <laughs> but so what? Or you gotta hit him. You like that last video? Well, the good news is I got plenty more right here on YouTube. Just hit the subscribe button so you're always notified when I upload to my channel. That's right. Binge watch the f out of me.